Hey guys, DragonFastCDN on the camera, and welcome to Subnautica. This is... Damn the music. This this is an amazing game. And... Uh, really, you're gonna tell me about an update for a game that isn't this? You know, seriously. I know it says Subnautica, but it also says Subnautica colon below zero. That I was talking about in the last video. Um, in one of my storytelling videos, I think it was. I can't remember. Um, but I was talking about it in this. This is one of my really fun games. Uh, I happen to like this. As I did mention, I'd been playing the game and I kind of never got there. So let's get rid of that and start a new game. Um, we're gonna do survival because we don't want freedom or hardcore because you only get one life and I die a lot sometimes. So let's do this. Survival. Uh, we're just gonna get this loading screen for the next five decades and um, yeah I know there's cutscene. I'm... I have played this game quite a bit but I never really got much done so... Uh, yeah, but, oh god, this is frightening game, this. This is one of the scariest games as well, because of the ocean. Damn. No, no, for a split second, you can catch the uh, monitor systems on the side. <laughs> Ooh, ow! 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 It's got smacked in face. Why is there a crack on my eyes? My eyes cracked? I'm sorry, what? Yeah, just put your hands down, suddenly. Gimme. You! Jesus, stop coughing! Security test failed, secondary systems offline, radio offline, distress signal broadcast failed, flotation devices deployed, hull integrity, okay. Uh, damn though, this is, this like makes me think that I'm just loading up an actual computer inside of a computer. You. A minor head trauma. Oh, really? PGA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Mm -hmm. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. Good luck, yeah, because you're gonna flip and need it. All right, so I know you can just jump down through there, but there's a cutscene here. I'm gonna start. Yeah, which is one of the cool things. Okay, did not see that before, and did not see some of those before. The Aurora suffered um, hull failure. Other things as well Under is... Uh, zero human life signs detected. Over there, at that giant cloud there, there's an island, and there's... Because that cloud there, there's an island, and that cloud... There are islands, and there's an island somewhere down there, I think. Don't know, but I, I know these. I looked into the game a little bit more, and I know this and that are islands um, for the end game sort of thing. Uh, get back in here and use this because there's another cutscene here. I want to get it out of the way. That spawns in specific that dude there spawns in specifically to do that cutscene as well and goes off and does whatever so i want you break limestone i know i need as much as you as possible tab is the inventory that's a weird key to press uh, screw you 
of survival oh. has just increased to unlikely. Oh, hey, look, case shopper. Oh! Oxygen. Ah! Ow! What the hell was that sound that I just made? Um, it was like. Ah! You know, I was trying to mimic the sounds of whatever the hell that thing was. I hate those things. They scare the actual crap out of me. I hate them. Give me that. Limestone. Thank you very much. And uh, It caves. Um, hi. <laughs> mm, yes, you couldn't breathe apparently. Ooh, a bit more um, iron there. Uh, not iron, but metal salvage, you know what I mean. Uh, down here. I'm gonna get a creature egg because it unlocks the advanced alien exterior there. A bit deeper into here, there's some more limestone which we need lots of. Uh, alien egg, nothing, nothing new there. Come back up here. Go to life pod. Also, you can use the side ladders as well, but it's just like I'm going to climb the side. Uh, so first thing we need is resources, basic minerals. We're going to need a lot of titanium because that is the only resource this game has that you use <laughs> for quite literally anything. You'll be amazed why I'm not going to craft any titanium ingots is because that's used for vehicles and we don't need vehicles right now. Copper wires, personal equipment, no tools. Um, I need silicon rubber, which I'll get soon. I need a standard O2 tank though, because I cannot be bothered to go up and down possibly. Um, so I do believe that. Tools. Uh, I'm going to need a survival knife, because that's literally the only weapon you get, and then I'll need a repair tool. Um, so I'm going to need to get my hands on some silicone rubber, uh, which I need. Also, an inventory here, um, which is kind of necessary. I'm going to leave my fire extinguisher in there too. I have to remember escape isn't the thing that you need. I'm also uh, going to use this. I try to remember uh, that kind of stuff. Right, come back down into here. Now there's a location we have to go right over here, the creep vine uh, forest here. But these dudes are the first hostile uh, douchebags that you find. I hate these dudes. They're called stalkers. Now this is a metal zone where you just find all the metal because these dudes collect it to sharpen their teeth apparently. But they are territorial as hell. So yeah, it's just got to grab it and go. Thank you. I'm gonna book the next trip out of here because he's starting to sniff my flesh. Pick this up while I'm here. Yeah, see that? He was starting to follow me a bit there. Yeah, but these dudes, once you're ready to fight them and stuff like that, like with stasis um, stuff and that. Where's my pod? It's over there. Uh, but essentially, yeah, you start uh, fighting those dudes and it's kind of like, oh, hey, you can do that. Okay, no thank you. Uh, pick up a boomerang. New creature discovered. Yeah, because we need food and fish are food. <sighs> okay, I was wondering what that was. Leave me alone. Ow. Okay, I still have 100 hit points for some reason. Oh, where's my pot? It's up here. I swam underneath it. Wow. Uh, see, so yeah, I gotta use this. Uh, personal items here. We now have the high capacity O2 tank, which is the next thing we want. Uh, now, officially, you don't cook food until you need to. I don't know if they've fixed that yet, but you can keep food in your inventory and it doesn't rot if you keep it as a normal piece of food. And then down here we make one lubricant because that's really all we need. Lubricant is essential in construction of vehicles and power plants. As it says down there, that's why we're only making one lubricant.
I'm gonna make some titanium. Um, tools, survival knife, Weapons were equipment fins, survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. The knife remains the only exception. The fabricator draws I from the data to provide environment appropriate equipment using locally available materials. <sighs> For your safety, this setting cannot be overridden. Don't touch the end of the repair tool, you fool! Get the radio up and run in. This is a run-out. The stress signal received. Rescue operation will be dispatched to your location in 9-9-9-9 hours. Continue to monitor for emergency transmissions from other life pods. Nine, 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 nine hours. Uh, yeah, that's bad. Also, another thing. Life pod secondary systems online. Running full environment diagnostic and outputting results. I'll to eat database. something when I need to eat something. So now this says something different. Secondary systems online. Go outgoing radio communication offline. Incoming radio communication online. Flotation devices deployed. Hull integrity okay. Environment uncharted ocean planet. Four five four six B. Ox oxygen slash nitrogen atmosphere. Keep it. Keep a note of this. Waterborne bacteria levels high. That's a reference to the end of game. So yeah, now the radio is that online. We can finally start actually playing the game properly. Uh, this is a nice cool thing. Um, so yeah, we get some filtered water at the beginning. I need to eat something, so I'm going to craft you. Thank you. And now let me eat you. Consume. There we go. Okay. Now let's go back down. Oh, hold on. The reason I made those copper is because the personal equipment for tools needs a scanner and that needs a battery which needs acid mushroom and copper ore. And the um, copper wire comes later. There's a copper ore, titanium, acid mushroom. Okay, quit that inventory. Now come down here to... Oh, I need another acid mushroom, okay. I'm in confusing controls now because you're going to press tab to exit certain things and it's escape for that so that confused me a bit make a battery <laughs> scan it detecting increased local radiation levels trend is consistent with damage to the aurora's drive core sustained during planet fall the scanner can be used to synthesize blueprints from salvage technology and to accord alien biological data. Self-scan complete. Vital signs normal. Continuing to monitor. Now there was definitely something down here that you can... Oh, mind you, these dudes are amazing uh, to research because it unlocks a good bit about the um, flora and that stuff. Uh, it's difficult when it gets dark, and this also gives you good stuff about the scattered wreckage, geological data. Uh, I can't remember... Ooh, floaters! There, those are uh, useful things. Mind you, just a model of this ship, mind you, after the explosion which happens shortly, you can actually go in certain parts of that makes it really really good for later game exploration and stuff. Floater, yeah. Uh where's the Here's one of the several crash sites you find. Ah, Sea Glide, here we are! That's important. I have to end it right now, or death happens. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one. I'm going to start it immediately after. Bye-bye.